I'm tired. It's always the same situation. We have a call, a change management call, and then there's always someone that comes to me asking me for questions on what was discussed, why, with this, which decisions we took, and definitely I have to answer again all the questions over and over and over again. I have solved that. Now all the minutes of meeting that I was already sending and that they for whatever reason never find, all of them are automatically being saved into SharePoint, a SharePoint where we manage all our change management and that way whenever someone asks me something I just point them directly to the SharePoint where they can check whatever meeting they're interested in and see what was discussed, why and what decisions we made. Let me show you how it works. So, you're done with your meeting, your management of change meeting or any other meeting where you send those recurrent minutes of meeting and you still get questions. From time to time you get someone asking you, hey, what happened in the last meeting? I didn't receive the minutes of meeting. I cannot find the minutes of meeting. Uh, what was discussed? What decisions did we take? And you're tired of answering always the same questions for information you have already sent it for minutes of meetings you have already done that they have it and they just have not read it or they prefer to come to you and they think it's easier and then you have to resend them and let's fix that let me show you what i have here and let's say we create a new email we're going to send it this time i'll send it to myself and the subject is going to be MOC minute for today and this is what are we talking I team that's it those are the minutes of my meeting now I'll send it to everyone and instead of getting and I will probably still get questions about it but right now right after sending this email this email is going to be saved into the SharePoint that I used to manage the MOC. So if anybody has any questions on what happened on a previous meeting, if there was any decision taken, we can always send them back to the MOC SharePoint and be like, hey, here you have all the historic, look through and find the information you need. I'm not going to be here losing time because if I had to answer to all the questions I get on a regular basis, I would never get my job done. So, how does this look? If we go to the MOC, here we will have, let me refresh it, the MOC minutes for today. They were sent today, and this is what we said on the meeting, and the rest of the fields. We can always modify them however we want. Right now, this is quite simple, it's just an example. But how does this look on the backend? Let me show you on Power Automate. We come to my flows, minutes of meeting. We can see that it was triggered today, one minute ago. And if I edit this, you'll see exactly what we have behind. So the trigger that we have first is when an email arrives. Quite basic, no? When we get an email, we need to make sure that the same way we send it to other people, we send it to ourselves. There are other triggers that we could use, uh, but for me this is the easiest one to, to manage. Then, important, we need to change the text that comes on the body of the email from HTML to text. This is something, it's the way it works on Power Automate, it will not detect the text of the body, it will grab it as code and you will have to change it from HTML to normal text. After that, we just compose it. Again, something that needs to happen in Power Automate where you tell, hey, now that you converted all this code into text, now make it official to say it some way. So you create this compose. The next thing that you do, this is optional. You can export this email in case you wanted to put it as an attachment. I put it here, but at the end, I didn't attach it to the, to the list just because I didn't feel like. And then you create an item on the SharePoint. Let me show you the details one by one. The first one, when a new email arrives, 
The only thing we have to assign is the subject of the email, but we can always assign other things. Things like who does it come from, who is in copy, uh, if there are attachments, the type of importance, different things that we have in Outlook, different elements. All of those we can use to decide if we need to trigger this flow or not. Then we convert the text to HTML. We basically put here the body of what comes from the previous element. Then we compose it. The same, we just compose whatever comes from the previous element. Something simple. I'm going to skip the export email because it's not being used at the end. And then on the create item, we decide in which site address we want to uh, we want to archive those minutes of meeting. Important, it needs to be a list. It cannot be a folder. In another video, I'll show you how to do it in a folder. Then we decide in which list we want to do it. The meeting date, if that's a field that you have on your list, you have to put it there. In this case, I just tell it right now, basically when the flow was triggered, give me that date. And then all the fields that you have on that list. So in this case is the subject and the outputs of the compose, which is basically the text that we had in the body of our email. And that's it. I hope it was helpful.